my question to you, Malik, is first off, you know, break down the whole contract situation. You know, he obviously didn't get a big contract. He said that he is looking to, you know, prove himself this year. So a two-part question, why, you know, is that? And also, do you think he proves himself for a massive contract? I've never been um I've never been the biggest to a tug of Iola fan. I mean, this is dating back to days where he was the starting quarterback for my Alabama Crimson Tide Roll Tide. Um I don't I think that there's been a lot left to be desired out there, especially when you draft a guy that high. Now, a lot of it has been injuries, right? The guy came into the league not with the best of health. Uh we saw some performances. He we saw him get benched a couple of times throughout his tenure. Last year was like the first uh, year where we saw the light at the end of the tunnel for Tua Tagovailoa, where we're like, you know what? Tua might actually be the Dolphins guy moving forward, but then what happened again? Concussions reared its ugly head. Um, it, 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 makes you, it makes you wonder where the Dolphins lie, because for me, if a guy is your franchise quarterback and is a guy that you want to sort of build around for the future, you're doing everything in your power to wrap that guy's extension up ASAP. Right, and you're asking questions about it later. So for me, I think that when I look at it, I think Tua Tagovailoa is a guy where um, you you have a lot of hope for him. But for me, I and I, Dolphins fans are going to ridicule me for saying this, but I don't think that there's been a I don't I don't think that that the expectations have been met. Especially we're talking about a guy that was drafted ahead of Justin Herbert, right? Right. So like you look at what that guy's been able to do and he hasn't by all uh, from in terms of accolades, hasn't really accomplished too much. But you, you still comparing the two, you comparing the numbers. Justin Herbert has been more impressive. He's been durable. He's been on the field more than two would take about. Oh, so, yeah, man, I think two would I think I think two was in a, a weird situation with the Miami Dolphins where, um, you know, I kind of gave you my thoughts last year on what I thought that they should have done the quarterback position. They didn't do that. Obviously, they stuck by Tua. They said two was their guy. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens moving forward. Yeah, and that's when I look at their entire team as a whole, mm -hmm. I see the way that the Dolphins have built their team, and it's not that they even need a star quarterback right mm -hmm. now. They just need somebody that can do the job. So I'm curious to see how they perform, especially yeah. in that loaded, in my opinion, AFC East. So. Uh, well, I, and, and just to be clear about that, I still think yeah. the AFC East is the Bills' division. I still think the yeah. AFC East is the Bills' division. I understand everybody is giving love to Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, but they still have to play together. They still have to mesh. These things take time. And I think there's a lot of disrespect going on towards the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills are still the team to beat in this division. And until I see a team in the division knock them off, I, I have, I'm hard pressed to say otherwise, man. And I know that I know everybody's like, how can you say that? It's, it's Aaron Rodgers, right? You see the, all the weapons that the Jets have and you see their defense. And um, I, I just, I, again, I'm one of those people where I'm, you got, I got to see it to believe it. I think, um, I think we're, I think they're being a little bit overhyped. In some in some aspects, I, I think that the uh, I think that the Buffalo the Buffalo Bills are still the team to beat in the division, though. 